Now, if I was Drew, no, to scratch that, I'm not a criminal. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> if they have good writers, they could get rid of Brayden and somebody new could come in and be a bestie, okay? <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's a brand new video for you today. We're about to get into episode number eight of Ghost. Listen, okay, can we recap? <laughs> I got my popcorn, okay? What's gonna happen with Drew? Because y'all know Drew's out here just going bonkers. Um, I know for a fact, if, if they write it the way I want them to write it, some one of them children is gonna take out Monet. <laughs> because how is it, I don't feel like Drew's gonna make it to the end of season two three like i don't feel that way because gordo's family they're real criminals too <laughs> there's that then the fed scooped up diana so we're gonna see if diana flips over because honestly i don't know how strong or weak she is because they don't give us a good character vibe for diana you know she's a daddy's girl she has a bad relationship with her mom she was trying to mess with salim uh, can we talk about salim <laughs> I don't even know what that was about. I don't know why that storyline ever entered. I don't know why they made it seem like Salim was such a good guy. And then all of a sudden he was a bad guy because he was adopted by white parents. Like, I don't understand. Like, he was trying to be woke. Like, I get it. He was, you know, proud to the people, all that stuff. Maybe it was false pretenses. But it just didn't make sense to this story why they did that with her. You know, it would have been better if Salim was working for the feds. <laughs> It would have been way better. <laughs> but anyways, if you haven't seen it, go watch it because it will be full of spoilers. Let's get into it. And I really hope they explore Kane and Effie because I want that to be a thing. I don't care about Tariq or Effie. I want that to be a thing. And I need Lauren to not be a thing for season four. <laughs> First of all, I don't know what's going on with D Davis's brother, but your brother was always a criminal. <laughs> he was a criminal the way you, when you got arrested, and it's, he's a criminal now. He just got paid to be a criminal. You know what I'm saying? They better not bring back Everett. <laughs> and if y'all about to tell me that this man is going to go looking for Everett to get comfort because he killed his other boyfriend? Mm -mm. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. Vaughn, he about to go and take Everett out because Everett knows things and we cannot leave loose ends. <laughs> And can we talk about how Brayden lost Tariq's trust fund and the Tahara's life insurance money? Oh, he gone, gone. <laughs> <laughs> and I know they're not going to get rid of Brayden because I feel like Brayden is important to Tariq's character. But if they have good writers, they could get rid of Brayden and somebody new could come in and be a bestie, okay? <laughs> you know what's funny? I just booked that. When ta Tahara... When Diana got arrested, why are they all sitting down at the table? Why did none of them get up and be like, yo, you're not taking my daughter, you're not taking my sister? They just look stunned. <laughs> the way how they portray this family, the family's not familying right now, okay? The characters aren't doing what they need to do. I needed somebody to jump up and be like, yo, you're not taking my sister. Like, what are you doing, okay? And for this Rico case, this is, I'm only like two minutes in because I'm still watching the recap. I'm talking too much. Listen, Lauren gotta go. She's the reason. <laughs> and <laughs> are we gonna talk about Sax, okay? I'm talking about hands, okay? Are we gonna talk about Sax and the fact that Sax has been playing Davis and Tariq now knows, is Sax gonna get got at the end of season eight? Season eight. Episode eight? <laughs> Tariq better have told Davis about Sax. Because I don't like this. I hate people like Sax. <laughs> like they pretend they're your friends. They use you for what they want. And then they screw you in the end. And that is 99% of people in this world. <laughs> like they're horrible. Oh my god. You know. I need Sax to meet a very, very gruesome end. <laughs> it ain't something like somebody just like. Pew, pew. No, okay. This needs to be unexpected by someone he least expects, like just vicious because I don't like him. <laughs> Here they go. 
We know you're trying to turn your life around. Is she really trying to turn her life around? I mean, just because she went to college, that don't mean much. <laughs> Kids, university and college is important to you. If it's important, okay? <laughs> I just, I don't think she's trying to change her life around. I think she was trying to be defiant against her mom, which is cool, right? But then she still ended up selling drugs at the school. If she was trying to say, if she was really trying to change her life, that would have never happened. Her dad would have never convinced her to do anything like that. So I see why Monet is worried because everybody can convince Diana to do something except Diana. <laughs> First of all, Tariq, I don't know why you were going to stop this drunk man from doing what everybody needs him to do. <laughs> if he got caught up, he got caught up. Look at I just, I. David's got to go down, and he got to go down real hard, and I need it to happen before the season finale. Because, hello? Mm -mm, you ain't making it to the last episode. How dare you? <laughs> Rude. Surprise! It's Gordo's brothers. I don't even know who they are. Is it? You better have a damn good reason to show up here. Oh, Tariq. Man, it would have been so much better if it was Gordo's brother. <laughs> what? I need the action to happen. They're moving too slow. And don't get me started on the fact that Noma ain't here yet. <laughs> Yo, when this is all said and done, I don't even care if somebody goes to jail. You know what I'm saying? But somebody needs to smack Jenny and Blanca. Because, hello? <laughs> Isn't she a child? Is she under 18? <laughs> Diana can't be over 20. She can't. Because in the... No. She... This, what? Because honestly, why are they questioning her without her attorney? And why didn't Diana say, I want my attorney? I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> like, I knew I wanted this for Effie and Kane, but not like this. <laughs> not like this. Mm -mm. Don't kiss him, girl. Don't do it. Leave to go help save his sister. <laughs> How he had time for this? Sir, you do not have time for this. Diana is not that important. <laughs> Kay's out here messing with Effie. Drew's home drinking alcohol with his mama, and nobody is at the police station. <laughs> See, now I stand for them too because I personally feel. Kane need a little softening. You know, he's my guy. But, you know, I think him and Effie make a better couple than him, her and Tariq. Tariq. Mm -mm. <laughs> Tariq don't deserve Effie. <laughs> Effie needs to be with a guy like Kane. Kane ain't no good. Huh? Tariq has a little sprinkle of good in him. <laughs> Effie needs a guy that understands that if she kills somebody who's wearing a wire, <laughs> it's acceptable. Tariq still has a conscience, so it ain't gonna work. <laughs> you know, Davis is gonna pull up, and Seth is gonna be like, he's on the influence of alcohol, he can't do it, blah, 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 blah. Yo, he needs to get got. Done. <laughs> Baby, okay? He didn't even make it past um, Stan's field. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. What, was, what, was, what was the urgent need to go over there? He could have called her. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear these people in their writing. <laughs> he could have called her. And you know, it could have been a phone call. <laughs> but you know, I know people are going to say, well, you know, their phones might be bugged. People are watching them, blah, blah, blah. You don't think people are watching him? How he, how he end up a standstill with another known drug dealer? <laughs> Trying to get his story. I can't wait, Kane and Effie. Mm -mm. <laughs> Baby. Oh, oh, oh. Tariq, if you ever have a problem with this, okay? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> this love triangle is one thing. But Est is her name Estelle? I want to call her Estelle, but I don't know. I don't think her name is Estelle. Gloria? Frank's wife? I know. Listen. I know within my soul <laughs> she's gonna be a problem for Monet. <laughs> and 
I don't. The thing is, right, the writers, they, they make Monet to be so high, which is cool. But Mary J. Blige ain't giving me that right now, okay? But Gloria or Estelle, whatever her name is, she gonna be that problem. <laughs> because, hello, Gorda was sleeping over by you, and all of a sudden, Gorda's been missing for a week. Or a day. <laughs> Wait, they still don't know Gorda's missing? They don't know Gorda's gone? Who's writing this? <laughs> Listen, Drew is such a bad liar. I just, I need him to go. And I know, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it within my soul. <laughs> He's not going to make it into season four. He's just not going to. He, there is no way. What's the purpose of Drew? Somebody help me out. <laughs> What's his purpose? Sats, Drew, and Lauren, they can't make it into season four. Because if they do, bad writing bad writing it's like they're saving characters just to, just the sake for the sake of saving characters what what's drew's purpose he had a, a two season affair with stupid everett <laughs> he tried to take over the family for like one episode then he hooked up with gordo and now gordo's dead <laughs> like i can't first of all i would not be mad if Gord not gordo Brayden gets got <laughs> because essentially you're just like your family he's trying to think that he's different but he's really not he's just exactly like his family and that's cool you know that that's your thing you do your thing but if you're about to lie to King about the money that they invested you invested for them and then they're still to reek if I was writing this Brayden can't make it past season three. <laughs> okay, I don't like how Tariq is responding to the fact that his trust fund, I don't know how much was in the trust fund, but his trust fund is gone. How much money are they making selling drugs? <laughs> because, hello? First of all, does Tariq even have a house? I know he just got a car. But he's dressed, he's dressed, he's flied out, okay? He's dressed to the T. But he don't got a house. What? He's taking this way too easily. For somebody who's lost all their money, you're being really nice to Brayden right now. Sax's a whole idiot. Sax is a whole idiot. He's a whole idiot. You know, this is what happens when you think you're the smartest person in the room and nobody's on to you. Like, he's been so sloppy with Jenny. How did he think he was going to make it this far? And them, Tariq and Davis, they're dumb. Because how did it, how did Sax get this much information? <laughs> I can't. Oh, I feel like something major is going to happen at the end of this episode. And I might not be happy with the results. Drew is gone by the end of this episode. Because I can't deal with his erratic behind, his emotional being. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> I know this is So done. Everett? Y'all see Everett? <laughs> I can't. I can't. Wasn't Everett supposed to get got like since season one or season two? Didn't their dad say, listen, you need to do this? And he didn't. He spared Everett because he loved him. Is Everett in a relationship? I didn't even watch it yet. I, okay, bye. <laughs> Drew, I don't feel I don't feel sorry for him because it's just like, oh, <laughs> like what do you want? Ah, gosh, <laughs> and my boyfriend. <laughs> first of all, first of all, I don't even know why Drew's upset. One, because you don't went on and had a whole relationship or whatever that was with Gordo, and you killed him. So you really think that Everett told you I was done with you and he was gonna be home waiting for you? Now. The problem for me is I don't remember, and y'all could remind me, I don't remember which one, no, it was him, it was Everett. Everett was the one that didn't want to go public with the relationship, right? So maybe that's why Drew's upset. But Drew, boo, he didn't want you. You're a whole criminal. He's a criminal. <laughs> Jesus.
Y'all, this show is pure jokes. Pure jokes. First of all, first of all, he looks like Everett's type. <laughs> if you know, you know. He looks like Everett's type. It, it, it's, a, it's a type thing. It really is. Everett don't want no criminal. <laughs> Everett's an NBA star, okay? He does not want a drug dealing criminal that is so emotional. <laughs> I feel bad for Drew. <laughs> I feel so bad for Drew because all he wanted ever to do was to claim him publicly, and that was not gonna happen. I bet you this man is some kind of finance dude who has lots of money. He don't want no criminal. Me. Now, if I was Drew, no, to scratch that, I'm not a criminal. <laughs> I need Drew to track down Everett and take his boyfriend out. <laughs> like revenge. Like, you left me for him. <laughs> you know, don't do that. That's actually something that happens every day and that's not something to, to joke about. So I'm not I'm not here promoting violence, but the show, his character needs to do some messed up stuff. First of all, I completely forgot that they took RSJ's money. Yo. Although he's a rich businessman, he really needs to have that dark side to him so that something can happen to the Westons because I don't like them. You know what I find interesting is the fact that Rashad's character keeps going and going and sometimes I don't know why he's here. And I'm not saying that they need to get rid of his character. I just need them to tie him into Tariq and them just a little little more. Just make it tight. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not do like Noma, make her come in until two episodes and then we're supposed to be like, oh my gosh, she's the baddest. No. You know what I'm saying? Theo, I know that's his brother. Theo, you better handle sax. This is what I'm saying. It has to come from an unexpected place. Can't be none of them. <laughs> it gotta be Theo. Theo already went to prison. He know what it's like. <laughs> He can go back. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> it's the show. I feel like that's going to happen. They're going to make Theo do something to Sax because Theo doesn't want his brother going back to prison. Like, I, going to prison. Like, I really feel that that's what's going to happen. <laughs> so... Professor Harper is his conscience. We don't need Rashad growing no conscience. He's the crooked councilman. Let it go. <laughs> First of all, we are not about to act like this dude was not from the wire and he was hiding bodies in the the, 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 the houses in the back, okay? So he better he better man up. <laughs> okay? I ain't forget what you did to um Bodie. He better man up. Running around here with Marlo. Mm-mm. He better man up. He needs to be. I feel like, oh, I just, you know, it's not that I don't want him to be just a successful businessman. Like, I really want him to be a successful businessman with a background that nobody knows about. And we need to see it now. But go to the SEC. What are they going to do? <laughs> I'm going to just say this now. I'm going to hate if they actually set up Effie. Because I actually like Effie. Although she tried to get rid of Lauren, you know, she can go down for that. But they all them they already did some bad stuff. She's like the most innocent one out of all of them <laughs> that we know of. <laughs> so I don't want them to set her up. And I hope, I hope she makes it into season four. Because if she doesn't and Lauren does, oh fighting, we fighting. Yo. <laughs> Drew, I swear, I swear, he's probably gonna hunt this dude down. Because, like, Everett looks happy. Did he really stalk them? <laughs> oh, Drew, don't do that. The relationship was over. You moved on. You killed your lover. Now what? Like, your bo your ex-boyfriend now has a boyfriend. Leave it alone. This is the thing, when the relationship ends and one person doesn't want it to end, it can be very toxic. And I feel bad for Everett if anything happens to Everett, but Drew can't make it into season four. <laughs> Yo, he can't make it past episode number 10. Okay. <laughs> He's not a good criminal. How are, you, how are you supposed to be on the cover? You look like yourself. And this man just walked by and sees you. I'm done with Drew. I The, I, the way how they're setting this up, it's the same way how I felt when Lorenzo got got, okay? 
Drew's gotta go. He has to go. There's just no room in this family for this. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta stop laughing. <laughs> oh, poor Drew. His feelings are really hurt. You know, Everett didn't want him because he's not a look. He's not a good look for the NBA. I'm telling you, he is. You're a criminal. Your father is a criminal. Your mother is a criminal. Like your whole family is a criminal. Y'all kill people. Like, hello. <laughs> Not the point stripes come on drew i swear it's not to me it's not because he's white is his type he looks like he just looks like the type of guy that Everett would go for ever doesn't want to be seen as a poverty stricken dude from the ghetto and that's drew you could dress in all the name brand stuff you want but this guy looks well put together and he's probably Everett's sugar daddy <laughs> Am I really watching a lovers quarrel between Drew and Everett right now? Because I cannot. <laughs> I can't. I just, I can't. I really can't. It just, first of all, he didn't, to me, the emotion around his father's death was all his. No one else cared about Lorenzo dying. You know what I'm saying? Diana didn't spiral the way he did. Kane didn't care, Monet didn't care, but he's just out here losing his mind. Then he picked a fight with the Russians, and now Everett did a press conference. <laughs> Talking about, I got a new man, and here's my new man. <laughs> and now he's salty. I'm done. I'm so done. I really hope, to me, I just don't want anything to happen to Everett and the boyfriend. If you have a problem... Handle it with Everett. If not, just leave them alone. But I don't think, I really don't want them to make, that's domestic violence. You know, like, I don't want that to happen. Like, you know, he moved on, you moved on, but you killed your boyfriend. So I just feel like, I don't know. This episode is, is giving me vibes that by the end of it, someone's going to be gone. And I just don't know who yet. Is this Confessions of a Drug Dealer? <laughs> Because are you about to tell him that you killed your boyfriend? Are you trying to tell me that he really loves Gordo? Gordo was a rebound. Like, hello? <laughs> you know, I'm not good with matters of the heart. So this right here is corny to me. Because how you go to your ex crying about your lover? <laughs> and I know that's not what he's doing. He's really saying... You didn't want me. I found someone that wanted me and I got rid of him. But it's your fault. It's nobody's fault. You did it based on whatever messed up situation in the game. You know, he killed your dad and now you got him. You know, an eye for an eye. But the funny thing is they killed his dad first. <laughs> Yo, they really tried to jam up Effie like this for real? For real, for real? Kane should have told her. And you know what? All of this texting, talking about we need to talk and stuff, just say it in the message. We don't care if people are listening. Just say it in the message. Be like, yo, don't go to the drop. Just don't go. Okay, good. They didn't jam her up. They wanted to smoke sax out because, hello? <laughs> I would have been like, how do you... She's the most loyal one. <laughs> Somebody recorded Drew. <laughs> Whose man's is this? Yeah. That, that's it for me. Drew is going to be done by this episode. First of all, y'all see how social media gets people tied up? Because this man was having a very private conversation in a very public place. Who recorded him? Oh my gosh. This is bad. See, I didn't want him to go out like this. I don't know what's going to happen because I didn't see anything. I didn't watch anything. I didn't read anything. I don't know what's going to happen. But if this is how they take Drew out, I'm not I'm gonna I'm not gonna be satisfied. <laughs> He's just a, you know about that? Yeah, he sure did. She did. Everybody but you. Oh, I just oh I have like 16 minutes left now. I really don't know what's gonna happen. First of all, Jenny's a whole idiot. L let me just say that, and that's all I got. First of all, I don't think Jenny realizes. That when Sax says he has a target on his back, 
he's, he's talking about his life could be at risk. <laughs> Ain't nobody going after Jenny. How did I know? Did I not say? Did I not say? I'm telling you, you don't come up in, in here and, and threaten the, uh, Theo's brother. <laughs> Listen. This is this is this is all on sax. They just didn't send him nothing. This, this is this is all Theo, okay? I feel bad for sax, but I don't. <laughs> no. What he said was, I'm going to cancel my lunch date with him. He and then said nothing about no dinner or breakfast the next day. Like, girl, stop, okay? Like, I don't know why. Like, what's she trying to do with Rashad? Rashad is crooked. He's always going to be crooked. Ain't nothing straight about Rashad. He's going to be crooked. <laughs> so, I understand that she's his, you know, conscious. But can we get more? Can you tell us why we can't keep the donation? Can you tell him... That XXX happened. This is why I feel so strongly about X -X -X. You know what I'm saying? I can't with all these open-ended stuff. Like, I can't. Like, with Davis. <laughs> that would have been locked up for how long? And not a hug? Not a, I missed you? <laughs> not a, oh my gosh, mom? <laughs> I can't. Yo, this family is so twisted. Okay, really and truly, Diana might sell them out. Or she might just sell out Monet. But somebody's going to go down for something. But but if Sax is the one that's... I feel like two people are going to die this episode. <laughs> Effie and Kane, y'all knew y'all been wanting to do this. <laughs> They have been waiting to do this. Because, hello? We seen her with Tariq, like, one time. And Tariq was her, her whole boyfriend. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my word. Oh, my word. Why does that sound like Gordo's mama? Okay, coming in. What? What's Blanca doing here? I don't even understand this. Who did that? Oh, it was Lauren. It had to be Jenny and Lauren. They couldn't get her on the drugs, and now this is how you got her? First of all, Lauren... You showing your face. Now nah, Lauren's got to go because that's Kane's whole girlfriend right now, okay? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's her. Mm. <laughs> Honestly? First of all, now, now I know Lauren is not making it into season four. And Tariq and what's his face about to have beef because Tariq didn't tell nobody about this. And, and, and what? And I want, I want it to be Tariq that takes Lauren out. Because now she really has to go. Like, I didn't like her in the first place. But she gotta go. She really gotta go. Because what is this? What is this? See, you ain't never think about what I want. Well, sex? No. Sex? It's been real. I'm so sorry, guy. I'm so sorry. It's been real. It's been real. It's been real. Like... You done did all of this, and now you want me to feel sorry? <laughs> the only person I feel bad for is Tariq right now. One more time, Theo. Oh, no! No, he cannot. No, he can't. No, Theo. No. No. Don't do it. I can't. I can't watch it. No. I'm done with this show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh <laughs> listen, this episode was a roller coaster for me. Um it was a good episode. Uh I don't know where to start. I kind of figured Theo was gonna do something like that to Sax. And like I said, Sax needed to go, you know? Yeah, it was satisfying. Just a little bit. But he had to go. So for me that was cool, right? But I feel bad for Tariq because if Sax is really and truly the only person that knows where Tasha is, 
then that's his last shot. Like, you know what I'm saying? So there's that. But can we talk about, I don't know, I think her name is Gloria. Gordo's mom. They are going to do something real nasty to Drew. Okay? And the thing is, I don't want the writers to make it seem like Monet is so untouchable. No, she's not. You know, she orchestrated Lorenzo's happening. But for Drew, I really think they're going to hit her with Drew. They have to hit her with Drew because there is no way Drew... Drew can't make it to the end of the season. Like, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. He's out here spilling his guts to people in the open air. And, and just... There's no way. So I really feel like... She's going to get a pinch when it comes to Drew. Because, yeah, sure, he's a main character, but is he really? Like, you understand what I'm saying? So, I really think he, something's going to happen to him. Because Gloria and her sons, they are looking for Gordo. Okay? And he's out here saying Gordo's gone? Boy, please. Okay? So, there's that. Then, the whole thing about Effie, Lauren, Tariq, and Brayden, and Kane. How is it? Tariq didn't tell anybody, but now Kane knows. And, and for some strange reason, I know Kane's going to know that Tariq knew. And then that's going to cause a problem. And then Effie's jammed up because Lauren did it. So now Lauren really has to go. <laughs> so I'm not mad at her going. She has to go. Because the only reason why she's jamming up Effie is because Effie was dating her boyfriend. Like, sure, fine, she tried to kill you, but then what? <laughs> so, I really think that's going to be a problem. And the fact that Sax is gone now, I, I don't know what's going to happen. Jenny might just go ham. Like, she might go real ham right now. And the fact that she told Sax that she wasn't going to give him protection, that's a major issue. So, they might, they might be able to work this into their advantage because I don't know. I just, there's just so much happening I don't know how they're going to get money back from that Ponzi scheme. So we'll talk about that later. But I just don't know. Listen, I just feel with a, a bunch of emotions. I feel bad for Theo. Like, I just feel, I feel bad for, for Davis. He fought so hard to get his brother out. For his brother to come out and do that, which, if, if I'm on my last days and you disrespect my brother, yeah. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? So... I understand why Theo did what he did, and I don't know what the repercussions are because Sax is now gone. Like I really don't. I, child, this is so emotional. This is this is a lot. I didn't know how I was gonna feel once Sax got what was coming to him. You know, I'm an emotional TV watcher. Okay, just so you know. <laughs> but I just don't know. I don't. I really don't know what the repercussions are, and, and they're probably gonna be really, really huge. I just I can't. I feel bad for Davis. I don't think there is any coming back for Davis. I don't think he's going to be right after this. Like, I really don't. He fought so hard to get his brother out. And now this. I just, I can't. Listen, I'm just, this is it. I, you've seen how I felt throughout the episode, okay? Lauren got to go. Sax is gone. Drew definitely has to go. And I believe that by the end of the season, he will be gone. Because he just can't make it. He can't make it. Neither can Lauren. And who else got to go? I don't think anyone else right now, Jenny, but when I don't think they're going to take out Jenny, you know? It's going to be Lauren and Drew next. Those are on my hit list. Them two. If they make it into season four, who's writing this show? <laughs> Anyways, that is it. I hope you enjoy. You know, you already know how this goes, gay. Okay? I said what I said. I kind of know what I said. And if you don't agree with what I said, it's cool. You can help me out in the comments. Let me know if I missed something. It is what it is, all right?